Wednesday, April 1st, 2020, Maneco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. So the stock markets are dropping again overnight. The Dow dropped as uh, much as 800 points. I want to go over the markets first today and look at uh, the technicals for the stock market for the S&P uh, index. I'll have a look at the S&P. I know the Dow is widely publicized, of course, but the S&P is what the uh, fund managers, money managers keep a track of, mostly. Uh, I did speak last week about the 1929 crash, what the stock market did, and what we could do uh, in 2020. I said we could rally for another uh, 13 weeks or so after the 23rd of March low. Uh, yesterday, I spoke with... Uh, Mark Faber, uh, editor and publisher of the Gloom, Boom and Doom report, uh, he said that is possible. But you never know, as he said, uh, you never really know exactly how the market is going to react. All you can keep an eye on is technical levels, I would say. And that's why I think the March 23rd uh, low is very important. So it's 7.55 a.m. London. Let's go through. Uh, where the markets are this morning. Am I concerned about what happened to gold yesterday? Not a tiny bit. <laughs> uh, not to gold itself, but the paper price, not a tiny bit at all. Um, uh, I'm much more comfortable having precious metals than having uh, money, well, money uh, in one of these banks uh, these days. So, yeah, I, I wouldn't be uh, concerned at all. Uh, right now, spot gold is up uh, $10 at 1587 Low has been 1563 The high 1592.70. Silver uh, held relatively well yesterday compared to gold. So today, <laughs> uh, they're keeping it uh, from going up. <laughs> there you go. It's uh, down $0.02 cents at 1393 Range has been 1386 to 1416 uh, right now, the Dow future is down 670, so it's off the lows at 21,250. S&P futures is down 3% or 80 points at 2,504. Before I go forward, let's look at the uh, S&P chart that I was talking about, the technicals. So here we are, S&P uh, 500, the drop from February, all-time high to the bottom on the 23rd of March, took 32 days, which is the quickest drop ever. And it was a drop of 35.7%. In 1929, the top was in September and the uh, bo initial bottom, of course, was in the beginning of November. And I think it was about 45% or thereabouts. Uh, seeing that, uh, this was the quickest drop. We could uh, also get the sharpest initial correction. And why do I say in the initial correction? Because I think ultimately uh, we could rebound, not to uh, retest the all-time highs, but maybe just below it, and then eventually in the next year or two go to much lower levels. But right now, uh, that uh, March 23rd low there uh, is key if we drop back below there we will know that uh, the initial uh, drop or crash did not temporarily bottom on the 23rd of march <laughs> and it's gonna be a much bigger drop am i giving financial advice about the stock market no i'm just telling you my opinion from my experience of working in the markets for over 20 years doing technical analysis fundamental analysis as well. So uh, that's the uh, key level right now. Uh, that low, just below 2200 in the S&P on the 23rd of March. If we break that this week, uh, we've still got uh, three trading days. I think all hell will break loose. <laughs> so that's the most important level right now. And I think a lot of people are going to look, be looking at that especially the momentum traders, speculators. So let's keep going. 
uh, NASDAQ uh, 100 future, that's down 2.5% or 200 points. Uh, currencies, uh, the pound is down uh, just over half a percent, 123.44. Euro is down a third, 109.89. And the dollar is unchanged against the Japanese yen at 107.60. WTI crude is down 1% at 2187. The 10 year yield uh, is down 8 basis points. That's not a good sign. We're at uh, 62 basis points. The uh, 10 year uh, yield. Recently, the low was like 33 basis points. So that's another key level there to watch, just like uh, the 2200 in the S&P is important for the stock market. For the 10-year yield, that level around 32, 33 basis points. It seems far away from there right now at 62, but believe me, the way these markets are moving, it could happen in a day. Now I just wanna go over uh, how the stock market uh, did yesterday, of course. We were down about 400 points in the Dow and 42 points in the S&P. Year to date, seeing that yesterday was the last day of the first quarter, the Dow was down 23.2%. S&P was down 20% uh, year to date. And uh, NASDAQ, 14%. And uh, small caps uh, were down 31%. Gold, of course, gold closed uh, last year around 15.15. And... Yesterday, uh, of course, it should have probably closed above 1600, but uh, the bullion boys, they smacked it down in the last uh, uh, part of the day. But we still closed uh, around 1585 or thereabouts. So we're still up on the year uh, versus the dollar and versus the stock market. So keep that in mind. Now I want to talk a little bit about what's going on in terms terms of this crisis. Uh, I personally think the mainstream media, the mainstream press has an agenda with this uh, crisis, especially uh, papers like the FT, even The Economist as well. I subscribed for a while last year to The Economist, not because I like The Economist, but to kind of see what the uh, enemy is thinking, so to speak. But I really didn't find it a good magazine at all. Uh, it was a waste of money. I didn't read it regularly. Uh, but the FT, I subscribe to it because it reports on what's happening as well. And that I need that and the Wall Street Journal. But I definitely don't agree with their philosophy and their opinions. And they do uh, work for the globalists. Uh, but uh, a few days ago, uh, last weekend, they came out with a story about uh, six months that the uh, lockdown uh, here in the UK would be extended possibly to six months instead of just until the 13th of April. And then you uh, talk to your friends on social media about that. And, this is, and, and a lot of them say, oh, no, they're coming up with a test. It will be OK. Uh, and then we see President Trump doing an infomercial for uh, a, a pharmaceutical company and a, and a test. I think it was Abbott Laboratories or something. And now today I get a message. Uh, I get alerts from the FT and it says, UK Medicines Watchdog warns over unsafe C uh, disease tests. So, yeah, I don't like this. I think they're setting us up for a very, very long lockdown. And the only reason I'm talking about this is as it pertains to the economy and the markets. I think, uh, as I said a couple of days ago, the economic collapse will be devastating. And I think it's engineered. It's a non-crisis. I saw that uh, Lindsay Williams, some of you might know Lindsay Williams, Pastor Lindsay Williams, uh, he used to make a lot of videos uh, on the internet. I haven't seen him around lately, but uh, I looked up his 
website, which is run by someone in England, actually, for him. And this is what he says, and he's holding this book up, The Energy Non-Crisis, The Oil uh, Crisis of the 1970s. He thinks it was engineered. And he's saying this here, and I, I won't read <laughs> what he's saying. You can see uh, on the screen, uh, if you don't read fast enough, pause the video. Uh, so there you go. Uh, that's Lindsay Williams. To conclude for the day, for the stock market, that March 23rd low is key. If we break that this week or next week, I think all hell could break loose. Keep an eye also on the treasury yields. The lower these uh, yields drop, the more uh, it's a sign that things are not well with the economy. And uh, let's keep an eye on everything else as well, what the Fed is doing, how much money they're printing, of course. I think they publish their new balance sheet numbers tomorrow. So I, I think a lot of people like me are waiting for that now because... Uh, that balance sheet is going um, up like there's no tomorrow. It's, it looks like it's going to the moon in uh, cryptocurrency parlance. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, uh, please hit the like button, share it far and wide. Think about subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet. And you can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, BitChute, Steam Steemit, and DTube. I wish you all a great day. Take care. Bye.